in the true sense of the word. All right. Uh, let's see. Who else was volunteered by their friends to help with this talk? If I can find a few names here. I communicate horribly. No, oh, <laughs> wonderfully. You're just right. That's where I wanted it. Uh, Carolyn. Carolyn, yes. There you are. Uh, t Carolyn, could you stand up? And, uh, I don't know what the talk about, but uh, the cigarette has to be lit. I would, uh, the machine <laughs> would like to smoke. Mm, good. Yeah. I, I'm going to actually go through that. Do you have the puff on the cigarette also? Is that part of would it? Would like okay. to do that at. I'm going to ask you a question when you get through. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't keep getting me with my hands in the air with those. All right. All right. <laughs> Return to a starting position, whatever that is. <laughs> the first thing I would like you to do is to breathe in and breathe out. You know how to breathe? Okay. Feels good. Okay, now I want you to remember that. Okay, with your uh, with your right hand. Yes, right hand. Pick up the cigarette. Put down the cigarette in your original position. <laughs> With your two finger, your thumb, and your second finger, pick up the tip of the cigarette that I think is a filter that's white. That's Hmm. Put that little white piece that's the filter. Is there a filter on that? Yes. 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 <laughs> Whatever. Um, between your two lips. Do not put it in the mouth. It's between the two lips and hold it. <laughs> Keep it there. <laughs> Get it because you can't see what I'm doing. Can you switch? Uh, are you right and left handed? I think. Uh, do you have what end of the mask do you have? Uh, the wrong end? Oh, Put down the match and pick it up by the end, the other end. Have the other end between the two fingers. I'm really going to be a nice guy. Nice computer. Yeah, there is. Yes, that's a nice thing to do, isn't it? Uh, like the match. You're going to not like the match. Do it by uh, using the book of matches that is in your other hand. On that book, you will find a at the bottom a brown section. That's abrasive. Yeah, that's, Strike yeah. the match against the back and. It's just like Do it much harder. <laughs> I'm going to help too. You know, I'm a nice guy. Talk fast now once we get this lit, will you?
breathing. To a cigarette that isn't in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> to a cigarette that is not in your mouth. Machines don't burn. Don't worry. Ouch! <laughs> no. I know that sounds like the cigarette that isn't in your mouth. But let me let me go ahead and then I'll I'll play because I'm a nice guy. Yes. You don't like a cigarette, he's gonna kill you too. Uh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These things are dangerous. No, 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 no. Tip of the cigarette that is not in your mouth and breathe in as I talk you to. That was smart, by the way, that what you did there before. <laughs> breathe out. Let's <laughs> <laughs> give her a nice round of applause. And as I said, I always give back the... Uh, <laughs> all right. She did play. She did, right. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, yes. Program computers to build almost anything we want, huh? <laughs> what a dumb computer, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I think the way you have to look at it is uh, your board ship, you're speaking to some other compartment over sound power phones. And he can't see what you're doing. He doesn't know what you expect, and you're talking to him. You're trying to communicate verbally something that you really should be communicating, you know, showing. This is the way you do it. This is what it should be. And, and that's why we have such strict regulations on sound power phones aboard ship, because it's so difficult to communicate. Same with the, you know, on your field telephones, that kind of thing. Well, anyway, I, I'm glad you brought that up, and I was able to make that final point. Listen, I, uh, I've got... Uh, probably 10 more different things that I'd like to try out on you, all the way from an old match stick. Has anybody ever seen this one? The match sticks and the holes and the stopwatch? How about the deck of cards and the building of the card house? No? Okay, good. Well, I think I've got a, a, a pr prospective uh, vulnerable audience. Could we all take just about a five minute coffee break? Don't leave. We, I want to, I mean, don't leave the building. God, I got to communicate a little bit too. Uh, first of all, I'm speaking at about how many words per minute, would you guess? 100. 100 words per minute, approximately. Actually, uh, uh, you know, a top quality secretary is to be able to take uh, 125 words per minute in shorthand. But do you, are, and I'm sure you're aware of this, but maybe some of you aren't, that the mind is capable of comprehending the spoken word at 450 words per minute. Now, if that's true, then how come only 20% of you are listening at this particular point in time? How come only 20% of you are comprehending what's being said at this particular point in time? If your mind can comprehend the spoken word at three times the speed that I'm able to talk. The data is coming in too slow. That's right. And that's just, that's part of what happens. Our minds, because we have so much capacity, uh, it, it, we just sort of uh, slip away. And, uh, and there's a couple of things that I'd like to make. A, uh, there's some words that, that come up in the discussion that your mind stop on and massage. And one of the words, uh, just, a, just as an example, is uh, those goddamn punks, we've got to do something about them today. Or those punks, we've got to do something about them. All right, the word punk to an older person could very well mean what you used to light fireworks with. But to a, to a elementary teacher, a punk is a kid about that tall <laughs> with, a, with a leather jacket. And to a junior high school teacher, it's probably about that tall. And to a high school teacher, it's probably about that tall with a leather jacket and a switchblade knife. So it depends on your own personal reference and your own personal background of just what the word punk means to you. So when I'm talking along and using the word punk in a discussion, your mind could very well stop on that word massage it, get an image, get a consideration of just exactly what was meant by that word. And in the interim, the talk has gone on. The discussion has gone on. And that's why the Navy is famous for so uh, rapidity, a program. You know, uh, you don't say it once, you say it three, you say it five, you say it 10 times, and then the message gets across. And there's a lot of truth in that. Unfortunately, uh, I don't believe uh, that we can take 10 times to say the same thing here, so I'm going to have to move on to a new and other things. Somebody once said that at the Navy, no, that if sex education were taught like Navy courses, the sex drive would soon be gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
and there might be some truth in that.